Hello everyone. How are you folks doing today? Today is Veterans Day. Got my cap on. U.S. Army veteran. In this video I'm going to be talking about a fellow graduate of my alma mater by the name of Charles E. King. It's an honor and privilege to talk about him. He was one of the first classes to graduate from Kamehameha schools. Charles E. King, a famous composer of music, who was born on January 29th of 1874 and died on February 27th, 1950. He was an educator, a Hawaiian territorial legislator, and a songwriter who is most widely known as a composer of Keikale Ne Ao, also known as the Hawaiian Wedding Song. And that's played often, quite often. A lot of people know that song, the Hawaiian Wedding Song. Very famous. Charles E. King was inducted into the Hawaiian Hall Music Hall of Fame in 1995. Music historian Kanahele regarded King as the Dean of Hawaiian Music, although the sobriquet is more associated with John Kamea Aloha Almeida. Now, showing a picture of Charles E. King. In and another picture showing um, his class of 1891. Charles E. King, if you look at the photo, he's uh, standing the second from the right um, with the first graduating class of the Kamehameha School for Boys. Charles E. King was born of part Hawaiian ancestry at the Nu'uanu Valley Estate of Queen Emma of Hawaii in Honolulu to Walter and Mary Ann Brash. He was adopted by his maternal grandfather, John Lewis King, after the death of his mother, and was Christian by his godmother, Queen Emma, at St. Andrew's Cathedral. King was educated in public schools in Hawaii and the Kamehameha School for Boys. Now, after... Um, After cons uh, considering, well, following his graduation, as to say, his 19 1891 graduation from Kamehameha School, Charles Reed Bishop, husband of Bernice Pauahi Bishops, paid his tuition at Oswego Primary Teachers Training School in New York. He returned to Hawaii teaching music in the Kailua Kona School District and also at Kamehameha School for Boys. In 1914, Kamehameha alumni circulated a petition requesting that King be named school principal, but Ernest B. C. Webster was chosen instead. Okay, so... After considering a run for various elected offices in 1917, King successfully ran on the Republican ticket in 1918 for a seat in the Territory of Hawaii Senate. Now, the College of Agriculture and Mechanic Arts of the Territory of Hawaii was authorized by the legislature in 1907 and first began operating in 1908 on Young Street in Honolulu. The institution's name was changed in 1911 the College of Hawaii and relocated to Manoa Valley. A community need to expand the school's curriculum and offer university level degrees led to King's introducing Senate Bill 76 in 1919, creating the legislation to establish the University of Hawaii at Manoa. While still serving in the legislature, he also led campus song concerts at the university. So, now, <clears throat> he grew up 
surrounded by traditional Hawaiian mele style of music and was a muso, musical protege of Liokalani. King began pursuing songwriting someone, sometime in midlife, publishing his first two of his three books of sheet music when he was 42 years old. Now, <clears throat> Kamehameha Waltz was penned by King as pen to his alma mater and to Bernice Pawahi Bishop who created the, the trust fund that established the school. Maj Majestic stands Kamehameha, my home of education, for you, O oh great Pawahi High Chiefess, are exclamations of joy. The song was performed in 1914 by the King Blue Club as part of the Woods of Hawaii musical presentation at the Honolulu Opera House, sponsored by the Christian youth organization Young People's League. It was first recorded on May 18, 1928 by the Trousy King Male Chorus on Columbia Records label since then and has become a standard at the school's annual song contest. So everybody who attends Kamehameha, pretty much we all know that song, Kamehameha Waltz. Now showing pictures now of the graduating class of Kamehameha 1900. And the first graduating class of the Kamehameha School for Girls in 1897. And the old Kamehameha campus, which is now the Bishop Museum. That's the story of Charles E. King. Hope you enjoyed this video. Mahalo for watching. And we hope.